Okay, my name is Claire and I'm the founder of Student Art Geach and Smarter DA. Today I want to talk about five drugs, okay, five drugs that are going to be probably in your examination. You know, every patient is taking something in our examination and hypertension is a very common uh, medical condition in North America. Sorry, I'm bending at the same time trying to show the drug, so uh, let's try to be okay with this setting. If you can see this or hear me, please give me a thumbs up so I know this is live and you can hear me correctly because uh, we already have some viewers, that's awesome. So let's start right now with the generic drugs. So you know this one, so you can't see my face anymore, but here it is. This drug, it ends with O-Law, like this one, Atenolol. So when you see this drug, do you know what this is used for? Do you know what category of hypertension drug this is? Well, this is how you're going to memorize it because as student RDH, I'm trying to give you a lot of tips of how to memorize things easier so your life is just a little easier and you pass the board examinations. So um, quickly here, I would just turn this around, okay, and do this. Okay, still all all, but like kind of you're looking in a mirror in the opposite direction. And then what that gives you is a B and a B. What is this? A beta blocker. Do you understand? So if you see this, reverse it and said, okay, this is a beta blocker. Easy to remember, right? Now, let's look at this. Pine. P-I-N-E. It ends like this. Like this drug you see. And you'll see a lot in your examination. So here, how do I know that this is a calcium channel blocker? What I do is, and this has nothing to do with the real facts, but I just think about Cal, California. Okay. And then I think about a beautiful pine tree that I saw in California. And this is how the memory works. The weirder it is, like Alice in Wonderland, the better it is. And this I'm forcing it a little bit with telling you California when probably pine trees are not really in California, but at least you can remember, Claire told me the stupid story that there was a lot of pine trees in California, which is not even true. So when I see pine, okay, now this pine tree, you may remember, um, no, sorry, not CAL, but it can, calcium channel blocker. Because you need to know those categories for the pharmacology part of examination, and also in your scroll examination, probably. Okay. IDE, things that ends with IDE, such as this drug, are diuretics. How do you know this is a diuretic? Well, just find a clue right here. Do you see this D, D and this I? And spell diuretic. D-I, sorry, my marker is di. And I'm gonna just skip the rest of the spelling, but do you see the D-I? And you see it here. And the memory is all about finding clues to how to memorize. It's like when you're driving, you are turning right and you're turning left. And you remember this building, you remember that you had your coffee with this friend at this coffee shop, that you remember that the McDonald's was there, and then you remember, okay, this the school, my new school is kind of around the corner. So you have to find markers. And this is what we just did. Find the marker, I, D, E, while you find the D and the I, and you're like, okay, this is a diuretic. I hope this makes sense. If it does, give us a thumbs up or something. So I know this is going well. Okay, next, almost to the end. Pril, P-R-I-L, like in this drug, lisinopril. You'll see this a lot in your actual medical conditions of your, um, thank you for the thumbs up, uh, in the school examination, but also in clinics. Um, so how do I know that this is related to an ACE inhibitor? Well, this is just what I do. I see pril, and I feel like there's one letter that's missing in this part. We have January, February, March, and April. And I know this letter A is gonna give me the clue that this is an ACE inhibitor. Does that make sense? Again, things that has nothing to do with real facts, but things that are gonna help you remember. Okay, the last one is 10. How do I know that this is an ARB? Well, what does, a or B sounds like. 
it actually sounds like arm to me, A-R-M, like my arm, my right arm I'm writing with. And if you can see, I have a slight tan. Okay, it's summer right now. I try really hard to tan, but I'm not a good tanner actually. I turn red and I turn, you know, like I lose my colors again. Um, so now I remember things that end with tan, T-A-N, you know what this is, A-A-R-B. You think about the arm. So let me just, let me just recap really quickly right now. O-L-O-L, you write it opposite, like you are in the mirror, and it's going to give you an L-O-L-O, -O, and if you put those two together, that's going to be a B and a B. Drugs that end with this are beta blockers. P-I-N-E, like this drug. How do, you, uh, how do I know that this is a calcium channel blocker? Well, pine, I think about California. I saw a massive land of pine. That doesn't make sense again. But you can just imagine that. And you can imagine that I'm actually lying to you because I don't even know about that. You're going to remember in your exam, you see this? I said, OK, I remember this stupid thing Claire told me. This is California, OK? Starts with calcium channel blocker. Now, IDE, it's about finding the clues where you see the, do you see the D and the I? You say, okay, this is a diuretic. P R I L, this is an ACE inhibitor because I feel like there's a letter that's missing here, which was the A, gives me the clue of ACE. And then the last one, 10, okay. Now remember, my arm is 10, or hopefully your arm is a little more 10 than mine. And you think about arm, which is going to translate into ARB. I hope this all makes sense to you. And um, if you have any questions, you can always email me at clairej at smart, uh, studentrdh.com. And if you know more, um, if you want to know more about the dental hygiene boards, you can, of course, go to the website, studentrdh.com, and find the mini reviews or you can um, see some blogs that I've posted already. And I'm gonna do this again um, on YouTube so you can watch it again and again without the whiteboard, but me actually with some PowerPoint, so it's actually a little easier to do. But I was trying to engage you guys, and if you have any questions right now, you can do it. You can just put a comment on it saying, you know, I liked it, I understand now, I understand things a little better, I can memorize it, or if you don't, you know, that's fine, let me know, and I'll come up with better things to do uh, for you to memorize things, because my job as student at RDH is not just be the founder and the CEO, but really help you be successful in your examinations. So if you have any questions, you post it right now or later, and I'll make sure to come back to join the group and talk about this. So I'm gonna try to do more live videos now, because I think that's the thing that everybody's doing. And I hope I am okay doing with that. And again, my name is Claire. My email is clairej at studentrdh.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope you memorize those hypertension drugs, what they end with, and how you can remember what they do.